Alrighty, Rue, baby, we made it to the category five Hyatt place. We can see we're beach ready. We got everything ready. I wanted to show you guys a top 10 Hyatt place, category five, top 10 Hyatt place in the entire world. Of course, we are in Virginia Beach. And check out this room. And before we even stop to look at how nice the room actually is and how big it actually is, we have to show you this beautiful, amazing, absolutely stunning oh non non ocean front view that's that's right it's uh just a street view it kind of got my hopes up and uh yeah we didn't uh we we didn't get we didn't get the pool we didn't get the beach view but we can go check it out regardless so let's see exactly what we got here at a one of the nicest hyatt places in the world technically that's right we got the top of the lowest end hotels so like i said this is a category 5 hyatt place more often than not category 5s are usually reserved for like you know andaz's thompson some higher end hyatt brands but this happens to be a hyatt place and like i alluded to earlier there's only 11 hyatt places with category 5 like this one in the entire world and this is one of them in fact it's funny i joked about it on the way here i said uh, maybe i'll title this video let's in, inside the top 10 nicest hired place in the world but i wouldn't be surprised if this was the 11th one right <laughs> just outside of there um like i said a good view and so basically this is the hyatt place oceanfront in virginia beach virginia right on the ocean right on the beach you can literally go down in the lobby and walk through to the to the beach and the ocean front it's, it's like a one minute walk very very convenient property very nice property and i really love it for its location also this was about twenty three thousand points every single night to book so 46,000 points just to, you know, get these two night stays, which is, I think, probably well worth it, just given the location and just the ease of access to everything from where we are right now. I did book it under my wife's account since she does have the World of Hyatt card and she has Discoverus, so she just happened to have the points. There's no other real reason that I booked it because she has Discoverus. Usually I get late checkout anyway, but, you know, the Discoverus, I guess, helps a little bit, and that is something that did thank us for when we first got into the lobby. Uh, so thank you for being a Discoverus. And then the, the, the person laughed a little bit. I don't really know why. They're like, thank you for being Discoverus. Thank you. I was like, what are you laughing about? I said, we worked really hard on that, you know? And I don't think... <laughs> doing wheelies down the block. What the hell? <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> so... So, 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 yeah, she, she laughed at us for a laughable non-globalist status, so that was great. The one thing I found in this experience, before I go into the entire property and, and, and how easy it was to get to the beach and all that stuff, it was, uh, it, I will say this, even though it is a Category 5 Hyatt place, so the highest level Hyatt place, it still had inklings and remnants of Hyatt places. So, like, the level of service is eh, you know, it's whatever. The, the way they talk to you is eh. It's whatever, you know, <laughs> the main thing you're paying for here is the location. You know, it, it, I got, you know, it wasn't the level of service and level of care that we got at the Thompson or the Andazes, which technically are lower categories and cheaper prices than this hotel itself. But again, you're paying for ease of access, you're paying for convenience. So right when you get here, there is a valet. Uh, there's not many signs anywhere. So if you're gonna come here, just know that you have to, you know, drive up to the valet. That's the only way to actually park. We ended up parking on the lot next to us, which happened to be condos, unbeknownst to us, because it looks like everything's attached here. And, uh, and and then they told us, you're gonna get towed, you're gonna get towed. So I said, all right, just give me a second. I'll bring it back over. So, oh, wait, I'm catching my car going. That's right, there it goes, there it goes that car in and get that free ev charging hell yeah hell yeah so we did the valet okay valet was cool they did say we they had an ev charger what i didn't realize is that it wasn't necessarily right here like on the property it's a couple blocks away so it's literally i could see it from here like right behind those buildings that's where the car is and it's charging at the moment so this way we can leave easily so i ended up giving the car to the valet person and they said uh yeah if you leave the charger in there and if you leave like a little plug even though it doesn't need a plug uh they'll plug the car in for you of course they take the car they throw it over there they throw it in a totally different lot that had nothing to do with the charger <laughs> and they and it's not plugged in and we're on you know 20 percent or whatever 
I get it, okay? I'm happy that there's even a charger available, but they said they would plug it in and then they didn't plug it in. So I ended up <laughs> giving this, giving the valet kid a, a tip because they do have this little golf, golf cart here. And, and I said, oh, you know, we forgot her sunglasses. I was like, I'm gonna go plug that freaking thing in myself because that's what I do when I go to these places. You know, if they're not gonna plug it in for me, I'm gonna do it myself. So I, I tipped the guy $20, uh, $10. He took me on his golf cart all the way over to the car and we were able to move it all the way to the charger and wham bam, now we got 100%. So now we can leave very easily from here. The uh, valet parking is $9 every single day for the overnight parking. So that $9 should be nothing compared to, oh, we have a jet flying over. Yeah, here's the thing about Virginia Beach. There's always a fighter jet overhead. Every five minutes, there's a couple fighter jets flying over <laughs> and I can't hear anything for a moment. Anyway, the $9 in valet should be nothing compared to at least the money saved from all the charging costs that I'm gonna be getting or saving just by plugging in the car at the hotel. So that definitely helps for us Tesla or EV drivers. And then, like I said, the hotel itself is very, very nice. It's very modern. Uh, nothing like a typical Hyatt place. You walk in, expansive, you know, center area. They have some breakfast all the way in there. And there's also a restaurant where you could order food as well on site of the property. And when you go straight through, that is the access straight to the beach. You can see complete oceanfront property, literally opening up these doors right here, right to the boardwalk, and then right on the beach. That's right, I love hotels that are right on the beach. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to take, you know, uh, long walks for anything. There's no parking. It's just, you're at the hotel. Okay, now you can walk right onto the beach, baby and that's where everyone wants to be. I really love it for that. So if any of you guys are beachgoers or your wives are beachgoers, you know, absolutely, you know, grab your beach chairs. Just know that they have rentals, so like chairs and umbrellas. You don't want to do that, it's way too expensive. Just literally go to Walmart, go to Target, get yourself a beach umbrella that screws into the ground. All right, we're filming. Like I said, get yourself a beach umbrella. <laughs> that's what we got there. Our friend bought that. Set that up. So you don't have to pay for the beach rentals. You're gonna waste the money, a waste of time. Yeah. What are you worried about? Yep. Forget Fun about fact. It. This umbrella is actually eight feet tall, so that should tell you how tall Anthony Venter is. That's right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, Tallest know, guy on the beach. Sometimes these beaches, you don't want to go to too shallow a beach too, because you can't go that low. This one you can get pretty deep. I don't know, man. You go pretty low sometimes. I also go pretty deep sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the beach. Get your beach chairs, hold them up in the hotel room, and that is super easy. You go down the elevator, go onto the beach. You know, when you're done, you come up, you shower off, and you're all good. You know, and then you you, you know you go out, <laughs> you go out on the town, and you know we found a cool place, some cool places around here. One place called Murphy's, which is like an Irish pub, got a really good burger there, so that was pretty cool. Also, a lot of different brunch places. They tend to really love the brunch out here. I noticed, and another thing I noticed is <laughs> every like 30 minutes, there's an F-18 flying above. Like I'll put some footage here of uh, F-18s flying above. <laughs> And on this trip, we weren't able to be super strategic because really I just wanted to have like this location because it was right on the beach. Anytime we go to a beach location, I want it to be oceanfront. You know, I, I want to have ease of access. I don't want to have to go, you know, three blocks away or whatever to, to park and then walk with the stuff and the hotel is a mile away. No, I like to stay at a hotel that you could walk right to the ocean because it's really important to my wife. So that's important to me. And normally I like to be a little bit strategic when I'm booking our Hyatts because you guys know the brand Explorer. So if you stay in five different unique Hyatt brands every single five unique ones that you do you're gonna be getting a free night certificate which I did just did recently however booking this under my wife's account both my wife and I have stayed at Hyatt places already of course um, so <laughs> this did not count towards the brand Explorer since we both have stayed here before all in all I just think it's really interesting to compare since we were literally just at a category one category two Hyatt place and now a category five Hyatt place and to really see the differences and, and really the differences are slightly level but better level of service uh maybe <laughs> and then a much higher more grand experience in the hotel you know a typical higher place is like a you know a hampton inn a garden inn something like that but you know the, this one is definitely a lot more luxurious with a good view to boots you know it seems like uh, there's a million different uh, balconies um you know above and below you unfortunately we weren't able to get the oceanfront uh view which i really wanted to have but Hey, they said no upgrades at this property. <laughs> That's right. They said we do not do upgrades at this Hyatt place whatsoever. I'm like, 
I get you don't have a room that would be technically upgraded, even though this room is pretty big. It's actually, uh, it looks like to be one of the biggest on the floor, which is interesting, even though there's no upgrade. Um, but an upgrade would mean put us oceanfront, but they said they were completely packed out, which I understand. Okay, cool, whatever. What are you going to do about it? I definitely recommend Hyatt Place, Oceanfront. Come here, go to the beach, have a good time, walk the entire boardwalk. It's like a, like miles long, it seems like. We walked it last night. There's a giant statue of, uh, of King Neptune. There's people that are doing theatrics on the boardwalk at night. Like yesterday, we it was called the Wreck of the Dictator. This guy was going around doing a whole show, which was really, really good. Part the teeth, 6,000 surf! 36 feet. On the deep, four fathoms, sir. 24 feet. But before the captain could correct his course, he felt the keel of the dictator scrape the bottom. And my first time playing Top Golf. Just have a good relaxing time a lot of the times vacations do not have to be crazy they don't have to have nightclubs you know inside the hotel it doesn't have to be insane it, it, it sometimes you just really are paying for a good location and that's absolutely what this hotel is even though it's 23,000 points a night a little expensive for high hotels in general of this stature <laughs> i definitely still recommend it because it's just an easy simplistic redemption and i'm never gonna knock it for that so definitely recommend come here have a good enjoyable time a safe time and just have a little bit of peace and calm uh, nature you can see look how calm i am i'm sitting here just woke up got the breeze ocean breeze or i guess the tree breeze since i'm on this side but uh <laughs> just enjoy have fun and in the meantime if you want to see that experience i had at the thompson hyatt where it was like a really high level service check out this video in the top right hand corner of your screen i'm sure you're going to get a ton of value from it and i hope to see you there as always thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you thank you so much